right? Uh, I didn't hear the it's recording. <laughs> um, in any, I'm I've got it going. So if need be, I'll just send you a download link. Yeah, that's fine. So, I, I, I'm just interest. How long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, well, how do you measure age? Uh, Not in years, lifetimes. <laughs> How many lifetimes? Millions of years? Billions, maybe? <laughs> as, as far as I know, going back, it seems every single time. Yeah. With very, very few exceptions. Mm -hmm. um, the, the most peaceful one was I was um, when I was a custodian of an old little mosque in Indonesia, taking care <laughs> of the prayer's shoes, uh, using the broom, sweeping the, the grounds, taking care of the curtains, washing everything. And the worst one was when I was in Agori Baba, the Indian black magicians, the cannibals who drink <laughs> out and whatnot. So I think I've been around the block, but I think that's true with many, many interesting people that you and I come into contact with. Mm. Um, all towards greater um, experience and um, learning from it, being mm. on both sides of it. Um, so true if you've so been a bit so. if you've been a really good powerful light worker then you've been a dark one as well <laughs> i think yeah. that is absolutely right and so therefore we can't be too judgmental about anyone really mm. not just humans but also other beings deities included they have their own story and their own motivation once you really sit down and honestly respectfully start a dialogue you see, well, oh, that kind of makes sense. Uh, if I were you, I'd probably be doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, so we just have to have some compassion and move along with that. Mm. My childhood, I was quite dark. Actually. <laughs> but it's a learning curve. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes. So always a learning curve. We, we, we do the best we can, isn't it? Mm, mm. Yeah, but when I first first met, uh, connected you on Rob's podcast, which I've been on, and I was working a night shift, and I listened to it all while I was doing a night shift, and I thought, there's a few ways you do it which are original. No one else does them like that. You you, you make it like uh, you tell the person what's happening, and not many actually do that. Uh, they don't do it fully. They just say, like, I'm sending you early. But then you go deeper and you tell everyone what's actually happening i think that's quite uh quite good and i, I i'll be honest i've copied a couple of your points there you I, go. I think <laughs> hey, more power to you my friend yeah and and you see um i i like that you are so observant of this mm. at the end of the day it's the person and their infinite genius that does the healing yeah so whether the healing is kick-started through a chemical a pharmaceutical chemical a pill or an injection whether it's done through radiation, whether it's done through touch, or whether it's done through energy, like what we're doing. At the end of the day, it's the person that's doing this. So we would be wise to include them in the healing process. Mm. The more we give them, the better they heal. And also, it has a big effect on calming the person. A yeah. lot of times, um, the greatest torture is the conscious mind not being in the loop. The soul knows, the 3D matrix knows, everybody knows, but the poor mind, and that's the, the worst suffering. So, so telling people, hey, this is what I'm seeing. Oh, by the way, it's a piece of cake. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm doing, la di da di da and you can feel a little tingling here, and that's it, you're good. Mm. So I think, yeah, that's, that's a more compassionate and gentle approach. Seems to be working. Yeah, so sometimes if you if you're getting rid of something too dark, it's probably wise not to tell them. <laughs> oh well, maybe maybe yes 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 yeah um, yeah. Okay, I, know, I've I've done healing since I was four year old. I don't know if you knew that. I started healing. I started doing the shamanic work at ten. So what people don't realize sometimes you're just born with it because who you are basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It doesn't come from nowhere. Yeah. Um. It's just the continuation, the same energy, the same wisdom. The body expires, but those rites of passage are eternal. Mm. Um, these are acquired through great dedication and sacrifice and hardship. 
So that's a good indication of this whole cycle of reincarnation. Mm. That in fact, we do ascend as souls. That's one of the big purposes of being down here in this crazy dumpster fire uh, <laughs> craziness uh, called Earth. So that's really good. I completely understand that. And, and you know, the most powerful shamans really are born. Mm. Uh, those who really begin to embark on the journey. It takes a few lifetimes to really reach any significant level of competence. Yeah, to actually come here, I don't know if people know, we've had to descend here, where people are trying to ascend. We've descended, <laughs> which is a bit That's... crazy, but but we 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 were asked to do the job and we 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 both, you know, we agreed to do it. I th I think you're you're quite right. And yeah. uh, perhaps this is your experience also. Uh some of the people that come into contact with us are of this of this nature. Very, very powerful, very ancient uh, specialists. Somehow, something is uh, put a monkey wrench in their gearbox. And it is our pleasure and honor to pull the monkey wrench out and get them going again. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, it, sometimes they're actually stuck here. And they ascended, master, descended, and they've forgotten. And we just got to wake them up a bit. That's all. It little, tiny, little boop. And off they go again. <laughs> uh, so that's good. How, and, and that's something unique about one-to-one -one work. Yeah. You see, there's so many out, outstanding, beautiful, amazing, rich resources out there. And you can buy the entire spiritual um, history and teachings of the world uh, in Amazon over one afternoon. <laughs> so there's no shortage of knowledge. There never was. Mm. Um, so really what's lacking is practicality. So perhaps in one-to-one -one sessions, one will do perhaps a few thousand people in a lifetime. But depending on how, how powerful and successful these people are, that's a big mo move and momentum in the right direction for the human species. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree with that. One to one is the way. <laughs> well, I, I've uh, I've had people, I've had my 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 well, my team say, he over there wants his third eye opening, and I yes. go over. I said, you want your third eye opening? She said, I've just asked that. I said, well, your team asked my team, so I'm going to open it for you. <laughs> Excuse me, bro. One moment. Thank you so much. Yes, I got a um, consignment of. Cop soup, <laughs> which is what the doctor ordered. So yeah. um, I, I actually got this morning some nicotine patches. Now people say you don't have, you don't smoke, do you? I said no, but the nicotine in the patches can get rid of the nanoparticles, I believe, from the chemtrails. So yes, you, you got to be defensive sometimes on the body. I I, I believe so. I believe yeah. so. Uh, so many of these beautiful plant medicines mm. uh, in. In excess, there are neurotoxins mm. or some other sort of powerful toxin, but in small doses. I don't know if you've ever seen the yogis of India. Uh, they drink cobra poison. Mm. And some of it is absorbed through tiny little injuries, enters the bloodstream and they go, they start uh, tripping balls and <laughs> it strengthens them. Mm. To a great degree, when they come out of it and they're recovered, it, they seem to be greater in their immensity of energy but also much calmer mm. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know so many of these uh, things that are now abused really like tobacco mm. this this beautiful plant is abused yeah, de demonized isn't it it's been demonized that's why it is. yeah yeah, yeah. So, sadly people don't know it. it's the chemicals that create the cancers and the addiction i can say it on here because that's a fact <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Philip, we, we very briefly touched on uh, the topic of Reiki. Mm. And I read a post of yours. It was fascinating mm. that in your meditation, you managed to interact with certain beings that are linked with Reiki. And their energy was joyful. Mm. So I just I just want to now give it give the floor to you and ask... Mm. What's going on? Maybe we could reconnect well, it, with them. 
and examine them and talk to them, see what the, what the, what on earth is going yeah. on. There's so much about Reiki nowadays. And I, I got credited aliens 20 odd years ago. And I was always a condemner of Reiki. I thought it was all to do with demonics and it was all the symbols were very, very bad. So I would tell people, never do Reiki. And then all of a sudden I decided, hold on, I don't actually know. Now, 12 years ago, I was I was at a school event where I was the healer and his pastor, who was a Reiki master, started being ill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I started uh, connecting with his Reiki contract, which is like a, it's like an ascended master demigod. That's all I can describe it. And I basically had a little bit of a fight and he ended up ripping the contract. So I thought, yeah, it, it must be dark. Well, Reiki is so many bit people doing Reiki. I, I believe it more now it's to do with who's done it because a lot of them are infiltrated. It's not just it, they're all good. It depends who's actually teaching you, who's giving you the symbols. Now, I've only, I've took a few courses. I thought I'm going to go for it. So I sat down there in meditation while I was getting the tuning on your back. And I actually met a different being, actually. Like a, he was like a, he's probably a sending master. I didn't ask. And he was, a, uh, he was in like a, a fire. It was like a surrounded other beings there. And he was giving me sake, <laughs> Japanese alcohol, while I was getting tuned up, <laughs> which you're not supposed to have alcohol, but it was a spiritual drink. So it's probably okay. I think that's what he said it was anyway. And I had sort of some food. And uh, he was saying that when you use a symbol, you're swapping, you're giving some of your energy to the uh, Reiki spirits, basically, and they're transmuting it to an higher vibration, which I get that. So it's not, we're not just stealing the energy because I'm, I'm always, I always have feeling that, you know, you've got to be careful in this day and age. You, really, you, you can't trust anybody, but you give the energy and then they send you some healing codes in different energy format. Right. So right. that's what, that's okay, what. So, so in, in this, in this particular case, there's an equal exchange, and mm. I um I could um I second that. I also confirm this, especially for um beginners, young practitioners. Mm. Yeah. Uh, when they still are really just beginning, that boost of energy is incredibly useful. Mm. I suppose then, as the person becomes stronger and they become more masterful of their own energy, this becomes less and less necessary Mm. so this i completely get so this is a positive scenario yeah let's have a look at a negative scenario so we've got a a wannabe black magician who thinks they're all that and they um enjoy stealing energy so what they have done is uh, create a duplicate of the traditional let's say yusui reiki or karuna reiki symbols and inserted uh, negative intentions into that. Uh, this is also really common in, let's say, California, west coast of the United States. All these mm. crazy demonic cults all out there. So, uh, in this case, the person who is practicing Reiki, or even worse, being uh, attuned to Reiki through an infected master, will be getting um, harvested. Yeah, definitely. So, um. Let's now talk with each other about how to identify this and how to remove this parasitic influence. Because I know of certain people who have um, had really negative experiences through this to to an extent where they say Reiki is bad all and all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's all bad because I've experienced a good. I've also experienced a practitioner who uh, I had to basically go to this it could have been a demon actually it could have been quite easily and i had to fight with it with my team and they ended up ripping the contract so it's a contract you're signing up so i would say you're being in universal law it's not it shouldn't be allowed that you're being twisted in a fraudulent way so you could do a ritual prayer which i've actually designed one where yeah where you're a sovereign being and this is all against universal law so you could Beautiful. break the contract with that, can't you? Yeah. Beautiful. But, but I, have, I, have, I, have, I have actually got one that me and Sophie created. 
So, so and all, all you do, you add your name to it. The only thing is, it's AI talking. I didn't okay. want to talk. I, yeah. think, I think that would be incredibly valuable. Have you have you published this? Is it a course? It, is it it's available? on it's on the YouTube. It's just a YouTube video. That's all it is. So when you when you publish, would you be so kind just to put the link down for our esteemed audience? Uh, potentially, yeah. people will see this is going to be amazing. I yeah. really love this, Philip. I, and I wholeheartedly agree. A lot of these abuses are um, cancelled out with contract revocations, ripping up the contract. Mm. Uh, I had a similar time where I was kind of thinking, well, are these symbols good or bad? I knew for for a matter of certainty that initially they were helping me to such a degree that I would get a sense of euphoria. Uh, my my master called this Reiki drunk. And when uh, drunkenness comes in, I start thinking, well, is this excessive? Because there is no such thing as a free dinner anywhere, including in the spirit realm. Uh, is this positive or not? So what I did uh, after a while, I combined other energetic techniques to my practice and did away with the symbols altogether. Still able to affect, for example, the chokure, the physical healing, or the emotional healing, distance healing, of course, the master symbols, but without any of these sigils. Um, so what I, and, and, and essentially, Mikao Yusui rebranded earlier Taoist Qigong mm -hmm. into Reiki. So this has been around for ages and ages, and the gentleman originally didn't use any of these um, symbols himself. It seems they came into the picture later on as they moved to Europe. Mm. And um, so it's not necessary whatsoever. Um, I think if one receives um, the training, the initial gift or blessing, let's call it, from a decent human being, then you're on a good path. Yeah, definitely. I, I've actually changed it. I do my own symbols. <laughs> I've created my own. Yeah. That's brilliant. And so, therefore, the probability of these being copied and corrupted goes really down. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so I've, I've burnt the whole thing up. You've, you've encoded it. Yeah. <laughs> well, initially, because uh, the person who will go sound dealing on a Thursday, he's an Arctorian starseed. I'm an Andromeda starseed. And we've let each other work on the other energies. We've swapped. <laughs> so when I was doing Actorian, uh, I was actually doing actor and I ended up symbols coming out and I started speaking. <laughs> and I didn't even, I know light language, I didn't know that one though. <laughs> so the symbols just came out with the, uh, with the connection with the Actorians, which is quite strange. So beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, so um, there are um, many of our star brothers and sisters use um, healing chambers. Um, mm. And so, of course, these are energetic aspects, the way the conscious mind translate them, translates them, so we, we get it. Uh, it's kind of unique. Mm. With the Arcturians, mm. I saw the healing chamber again, quote-unquote, as a, a Zen garden, <laughs> where I'm sitting in a lotus pose and all these masters are sitting uh, in the same pose around me. And gently chanting, sending energy to the center, very serene. Mm. With the with with other species, the form that my conscious mind picked up on was very much technological. Mm. Uh, it seems the more advanced uh, a species becomes, they get uh, they do away with the bells and whistles and go back to elegant, simple forms. <laughs> Well, look, what I actually start doing, I've I've started doing this for the last five years. Uh, I connect. To, I've got a crystal source being, yeah, and she basically thinks that most humans are not very clever. <laughs> she tells me, <laughs> but well, I, I can't deny it. Yeah? But when I when I start healing, I actually send crystal source energy into the healing bed, yeah. So I send crystal source. Uh, source energy so the bed becomes like the old atlantean crystal bed yeah? yeah then i send like spirals two spirals of christ conscious from the 22nd chakra so they're forming like a, a, a double loop and they're going up and down the bed yeah and then i use uh central sun or you could say source energy 
and I, I put that into the auric field and that's how I do my healing when it's and that's like programmed so everything's working now I'm doing my healing yes. <laughs> So that's, that's how I, I do it. I just wanted to say that. I don't know why I wanted to say it. Well, just, that's, that's beautiful. The visualization it's like, amazing. Yeah, it's, like, it's like creating the healing bed in the actual bed, on the bed you're using, which is quite good. And, yeah. and so now um, let's add to that uh, the utility of, of explaining to the person that's receiving the healing every step of the way. So their manifestation ability is coming in, aligning with yours. Mm. And so that would that would be a positive boost to the whole process. Yeah. So again, the, po the positive thing about explaining to the client or the recipient exactly what you're doing. And often in this way, you see them um, show a gentle smile as they're feeling it or start, you know, um, swaying around as the energy is going through their vessel. So they're <laughs> um, observable physical um indications that they're on board and they are liking the energy work mm. exactly yeah. i i wow. actually do i actually do swirl around when i'm doing it sometimes it's, it's getting get, yeah it's just normal. it's normal especially when channeling i go into mm. a rock ocean um it seems to i've seen people um do movements with their hands certain you know, movements or associated with certain initial sounds I just kind of sway. So uh, <laughs> I maybe, do, I do sway. I do sway. Yeah. It's like a, a rocking motion when we're babies and it puts us mm. into a state of relaxation. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting us to get through this Reiki business so quickly. Mm. Uh, that's kind of amazing. I, I think the Reiki is good for the beginners, but once you get past the level where you don't say five years and you know exactly how, then you start experimenting, don't you? Uh, 100%. Yeah. I completely yeah. agree. I, so, I actually, I actually partly merge with the aspects I once were. So I've got about six around me and to the point where I don't know if you remember this. I remember signing up to the, uh, and it was on the, I call it the magic lands where the Emerald Order came in and we had to put in energy into a ball to agree to come here. And all the Ascended Masters were there and it was like an ego trip. They were all, all had ego. Yeah. <laughs> because Yoshua went in, everyone's got to go in. And I, I thought it was quite fun. It's quite fun. But what I tend to do now is I link up with the Emerald Order and I, I give people downloads of Ascension. So while I'm healing, I also give them downloads. If, it's, if they're open to it, it'll open. So, absolutely absolutely yeah. it's it's frustrating being a evolved being assigned to guide a human because you come you wash them you anoint them with your light you speak into their ear and their heart and their mind words of grace and forgiveness and bliss and 10 minutes later they're back to their same old shenanigans <laughs> it was the point when you go you know god damn it, I'm going in myself. And so that's what many of us are doing here. Uh, actually coming in one at a time, you know, giving them a good solid shake, 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 wake up, wake up. And despite that, some refuse, but that's a very small percentage. Mostly, you know, they just need a tiny little boop and they're back on, back on course, back on their glorious journey. Uh, a, uh, lot of, a, a lot of them... The healing was great last week, but after after four or five days, I started getting the pain back. You've got to change your path. <laughs> yeah, I, I I like your start where you set, create the space with. Uh, I've actually got an Himalayan bowl as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, these these Tibetans, these yeah. people are onto something. Mm. Up in the bloody mountains with nothing to do all day, every day. They sit down and play around with the cheapest metal, brass. And they have created these sublime instruments. Like, well, dedication yields results. All these different little trinkets. Uh, the dorje and furba and the singing bell, which I'm greatly fond of. And then these other little things that uh, and a dear friend asked me to 
uh, invest in these little guys. I've seen. I know a friend who's got one of them as well. Yeah, I've only got the. I've got the church bell. <laughs> I've got the church oh, bell. Oh yes. <laughs> well, it's it's it goes, and that's actually the that's the Tibetan bell. It's the original yeah. one. <laughs> but I've, something o- I've, o- I've also got the shamanic wand, angelic wand. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah. That is, uh, is that Lemurian or would that be Atlantean? Because it's got both a crystal and it is wood. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's got the infinite. It's got tigers. It's got mother pearl. And it's got wings. The, I know the minerals are made from Africa. But I okay. never thought about Atlantean. It looks... I'm going to check that. Yeah, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I have got, I've got a, a female Lemurian eye priestess that I merge. And that the alien said that I've actually shapeshifted into her twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, some people have seen that. <laughs> oh. I, I've, I've also got this, which I bought decades, about 30 years ago. I see the Is light in the sm- dark. It's smoky, smoky, on, smoky on one side, light on the other. Wow. These yeah. things, they enter your life in the most amazing ways. And they're not always gentle. They kick the door down. Buy me, <laughs> buy me, buy me. And you can't really resist. So before you know, you've got a whole big I was in, I was in Liverpool docks. And I said to my wife at the time, I said, something's calling me. Something's got, I've got to go up second store. And I just went straight to the, the centre and it was the dearest thing they had. Why is mm-hmm. the ones that call you the dearest? <laughs> but uh, I had to buy it. I think it was 150 in 93. So, 93. Yeah. So, you're looking at over a thousand now easily. I wouldn't sell it for the world. Oh, no. These are, these are, these are noble companions. And and this one, this is uh, like your emerald art chakra. That's an emerald. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What is that? Emerald. Oh, boy. Look at the size of that. Yeah. Oh, I, I love that. I had it at the back of me. Can you see the staff that I made? Mm-hmm. I'd had that fixed on it and the dog knocked it and it came off. <laughs> so that was oh. actually, actually fitted on the staff. So, yeah. Oh, man, this is this is this is turning into too much fun. We're, we're like <laughs> showing each I'll, other I'll, our trains and, and I'll cars. Show you, and... I'll, I'll show you the staff. <laughs> There's the staff. Dead light. I found it. I had Merlin's out on it, and that's that's where I'd actually put me uh, I'd put me me thing there. Wow, that's yeah. that's beautiful, and it's dead light. It's dead lightweight, and I found that myself. Yeah. You, well, sir, you leave me no choice. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> Irish blackthorn. Nice. Very nice. And of course, you have to have feathers. Hey, man, let's stop. This is going. This is <laughs> getting out of hand. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, I did get. I, I, my son bought me that, and I thought nothing of it. But when really? I do, it's, wow, uh, yeah. When I put it onto my third eye and I do remote viewing, everything got clearer. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's as though like the old set eighties TV, and then it just cleared a bit. Wow. So if I if I do remote view and I stick that on my third eye, so it's better. And sometimes are amazing. Yeah, sometimes I use that to contact the uh alien, uh, you know, the other beings. The the Andromedas, uh I went to their planet, uh well their lands, I don't say planet, their lands, and it was a, a, a like a eye priestess. She was white but glowed white. She glowed white and she had a staff. And uh, they were dead. They said no one's been to, to ours before. <laughs> yeah. But they used to speak into your head, which was a bit weird. <laughs> it's strange. But I wanted to see where I was channeling all this energy. I wanted to see where it was from. So, yeah. Andromeda is very spark. I don't know if you know, it's very prickly, prickly energy. Very prickly. Yes, yes, sparkly, prickly. Yeah. yeah. Mm, like champagne. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So. so- um, what do you think is to come of humanity? Are we a lost cause? 
I or, think I think it's end of it's it's that film Marvel. It's the end of games with between the dark and the light. I can't say yeah, I can't say too much here, but I do know from November to March is a very trying time. And yeah, definitely. And I think it's all to do with things that we can't speak on here. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm on board one hundred percent. And then probably by 2025, end of 25, beginning of 2026, it's going to start getting better and better. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, well... Um, we, what we need is we need one of the ascended masters here to wake all the DNA strands. And that, it'd be like the Jesus here. And then things will change big time. Yeah, that's what I think anyway. <laughs> well, that would be extraordinary. If such a being emerges... I'm going to drop everything, get on the first plane <laughs> or need be swim and get there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be there. Mm. But uh, so so you think there's going to be one of these figures or is it going to be just the intensity of the darkness is so much that people actually wake the hell up? I think every time they play the game, they wait more. They actually do, you know, like Labour at the moment, are doing us a big, big favour. They're waking a lot more up just by what they're doing. And I, I don't think they realize, I don't think they're bright enough to realize that the more dark stuff is sent to us, the more people wake up. It's that is crazy. true. But it's also, crazy. Philip, this is a sign of a desperation or panic. Yeah, definitely. Um, as, as a result of the work that many beautiful beings have been doing, um, the mechanism of harvesting energy uh, from sentient life, not just humans, has been greatly diminished. And so these these moments are pretty much the last great hurrah of many dark beings. And so the intensity is going up as they're flapping about like a fish out of water for the final moments before the end comes. And they have disconnected themselves, many of them, from source so this is going to be the last death. That is a horrifying mm. concept. Yeah. And so that would really describe the intensity of the darkness. A lot of them know this is it. I mean, mm. this time is the last time. They won't reincarnate anywhere. And that is true death. And we mm. really need it. Some of these dark beings are just standing in the doorway, preventing everyone else going through and evolving. It's needed. Mm. And it's not like the offer of ascension isn't extended to them a thousand times over. They don't want it. They're invested in the mess. They like it this way. And they say, you must also like it and endure our cruelty and be grateful. Mm. Well, they, I don't they're, guess. They're, they're parasites, basically, aren't they? Parasites. Absolutely. That's an accurate description. I, I, w I was going to remove a few spiritually. And my team said, no, they're doing, doing us a favor here. <laughs> <laughs> Let them carry on doing us a favour. So, I get okay. that. Yeah. So. Have you ever experienced the situation where it is time for some of them to face the choice? And, and by that, I mean either um, vow to heal, um, pay for the debt, learn from your mistakes and evolve, or then be burnt down to constituent parts to such a degree that what remains can be of service to the highest good of all again. Mm. I think uh, quite a few of them have been, uh, have gone too dark. They, they've gone past the point. And I, I do know, I do know some have got, uh, I'd say reptilian parasites in them. That's all I'm going there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you see all the elites and everything, all the actors and everything, uh, mm -hmm. uh, called the uh, Black Eyed Club. They're all gone. They're not recoverable. Definitely not. I was going to say real, but I won't. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Anyone who the the to damage is too, is too extensive. There's yeah. no repairing it. And so if yeah. we apply the condition of burning to such a degree that what remains can be of service to the highest good of all, they're mm. going to burn pretty extensively. So mm. what remains could be, again, maybe of the elemental kingdom, elemental intelligence, yeah. maybe uh, single cell organisms. The corruption is so extensive. 
You take them I, down three levels. Again, they're still corrupt. I, I've got, um, I don't know, I've been told to to do this. I mean, a, a couple of them. Spirit, we actually didn't do it spiritually. We went down to this place and the teenager girls were getting attacked. Mm -hmm. So we created a uh, vortex field to bring in the dark witch that had been haunting the place and was attacking. And we sent them, and we started sending light in a vortex around and it was pulling off all the dark. The next minute I saw a little bit of white. So I had to tell the others, let's stop, stop. This is something's wrong here. And I ended up connecting. And what she'd done is she'd got hanged as a witch 500 years ago. And her daughter, who was 12, was left to die on her own. And that's where the darkness, and once the darkness starts creeping in, you get, you get all sort of demonics starting to manipulate. You get all this. And she wasn't dark, so I had to ask, I had to ask the angels to bring in a daughter after 500 years, and all the dark just completely went. So sometimes yes. when you think they're fully dark, they're not. They just need them layers shifting. So some that of these, still... some yeah, some of these are rescuable. I think. I yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I completely agree. If I wanted to give it a percentage, I would yeah. say eighty-five percent are rescuable, hmm. and then we've got probably that ten, fifteen percent who are really gone. Yeah. As if you open a channel to the source of all things and bring down pure divine energy and in the voice of the divine you relay this message that we're giving you amnesty forgiveness rejoin you are from us we love you i've seen this and the other party laughs mocks it says we are greater that is that is damage beyond repair mm. and so they have to go i, I think that is true Sometimes I've had it where they've been shouting and angry spiritually and uh, all of a sudden that's that's just a uniform. You've just got to get rid of that uniform and all of a sudden they melt. And they, they will... But others, I don't think divine light would be very helpful for them. <laughs> they, I, they'd I cry. think this is going, this is going for, for humanity, this momentum is going in a good direction. Yeah. Perhaps right now we're at the darkest moment, and it is always darkest before dawn. Mm. Uh, but um, from my understanding, we're going to be going through probably a 300-year transition period mm -hmm. where things normalize, where certain beings are allowed to uh, die out without even knowing there is a change. But those who are going to be born are going to be of a different caliber yeah. as more healing occurs to the energetic system of the earth also uh, more can be brought in mm. so then we're going to go into the new golden age hopefully there won't be any extinction events again seems that our our species has been subjected to uh, massive uh, extinction events every 10 to 12 thousand years um, I I think a lot of resets have happened over the last three hundred years. A lot of resets. Okay. Okay. Uh, you you can see because I you see buildings in your town, sudden town, your town hall. Who built that? My Southport town hall is like something from uh, Greeks. <laughs> the building facing, and yeah. you, obviously people think mud flood. Uh, even I, I I've been. The thing, what I heard, this is what I've heard, the last reset, it stuck a lot of uh, souls here, a lot of ascended masters here, because they were trying to do a, another awakening sort of thing. And I don't know if you've heard, you've heard of the soul trap, the recycle with the light, and anyone who dies, remember to go home. Don't go to the light, just go home. <laughs> just say to yes. yourself, home. And... Uh, I think that reset's coming on us. I think they're going to try and pull the plug. Uh, but that's why this time, I, I came as an, a, a, a walk-in, so I know what the plan is. Before, we never used to come as walk-ins, but the walk I'm a, I was born, died at birth, walk-in, uh, light language, first language. I thought I had brain damage, obviously. Uh, just rebellious, that's all. Rebellious to everything. And like you, I did go. To, I, I did all this schooling. I went to uni, did all that, and then realised 
this is all control. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here because of the Emerald Order. The Emerald Order had the convent to source to awaken the earth to ascend the people. And that's why I'm here. So that is profoundly beautiful. Mm. On my side, I think I'm here to press the big red button. The button <laughs> when you press it goes boom. There's a lot of this stuff that is uh, inflicting humanity uh, uses technology of different dimensions, of different levels of sophistication from um, dumb implants in the lower astral to very advanced 11 and 12 D uh, stealth technology that abuses portals. And have you, have you, the last few years I've been seeing all that and it's so hard to see it because it is invisible. <laughs> yes. You've got to, the best way I can describe it, you've got to sniff them out. You mm. can't perceive them. The technology is very, very effective. And so once through, especially through clients who are being inflicted, once they are interfered with, then they have the ethical and moral and spiritual right to demand compensation. <clears throat> and then these beings are affecting many. So I just press the red button. <laughs> of course, you know, offering the amnesty and what's not, usually they, they don't go for it. They come up with different excuses too. Um, the reptilians usually say, raw death before the dishonor or something <laughs> wonky, wonky like that. Or the more evolved ones, they kind of give you the googly eyes and say, we're sorry, we had no choice. We had to, we couldn't help ourselves, which is a poor excuse. Uh, so I think I'm here to press the red button on these big technologies. Mm. I would be very grateful if you point me in the direction of the soul trap mechanism. I'm getting a kind of indication. I, maybe I've, I've been, I've been taking, it was on the moon. I've been taking a lot of that down. Yeah, on the moon. I, I had a shamanic, uh, someone I knew was shamanic healer, and he's he's being ill in his stomach. So I created a rod with a ball bearing. It started going faster and faster and faster to create a shape. And as it was going multi faster, the being appeared. <laughs> it couldn't handle the frequency, <laughs> and and that that was given to me. That was. I thought, how am I supposed to fight? Because this is a person who had it from birth. Because a lot of these, they have it from birth, don't they? And they're Correct. asleep and they wake to, once they start waking up, they start creating illness in the body. But, and and uh, so these, are, these are difficult too, because yeah. um, normally if, if somebody, a healer, has the ability to perceive energy, they'd scan through and see nothing. And then these portals open, the portal is masked. So you're really left with no um, observable indication that something's going on. So usually you have to wait. Um, and this occurs once you've cleaned the initial, let's say, structure in the body. I'll just call it a structure. They appear in all sh uh, shapes and forms. Mm. Once you've passed over it, as if, okay, the job is done, it's almost like they know, oh, he's done now. Uh, let's get it reinstalled. <laughs> Regenerative tech. That's also mm. common. Um, where you see the damn thing wanting to respawn and force its way inside the energy of the person. That's when you get the open portal, you stick your foot in the door, and then you follow through. Where is this going? Do you There's actually, often... do you do what I do and actually go into the portal? And I, go, see... I go head. Yeah, I, head I do it. I do it. <laughs> like uh, uh, balls to the wall. Like, yeah, no, we're, we're going, we're, we're dealing with this. And... Um, Sometimes it is so interesting. I've had um, entire motherships connected to a client. And these beings were zombies, pretty much, all <laughs> under control of one central being, uh, requiring another portal to be opened to go to the source. And then it turned out that the, the human was on a vacation lifetime. And he had contracted this uh, very evolved being to keep him uh, in a state of forgetting so that he can have a vacation here on Earth. That is so weird. I mean, it's like <laughs> going to a war zone, uh, to a war zone for a holiday. Like you know, somehow <laughs> this, this person enjoyed enjoyed Earth. Uh, so the, the regular lifetimes that he was uh, working in was even more intense than what we have here. That seems to also apply. Some universes or domains of reality are much more tough than Earth. 
that was a big shock to me. <laughs> the, one one of my experiences, because that sounds funny, sound like you do trips that I do. I, I was told that this bloke was a drunk. He'd wished in the demon. But someone asked some spiritual people in London to help, and they said, whatever Z's got inside, we'll close the portal, but it's nasty, it's dark. And as soon as I heard that, I thought, I'm going in, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> so I went into the portal in his heart chakra, and I ended up in a cave. Mm -hmm. And when I looked around the cave, it was a blue demon. Now, blue demons are not supposed to be that bad, but this was, this was attached to thousands of humans. I mean thousands. Mm -hmm. I looked, and I thought... I've got to get out of here quick. <laughs> I thought, I'm not going to be able to handle him. He's too, he'd be too powerful. I've got to think, he's going to be attached to all that soul energy. So as I'm going out, I asked Michael, I need some white light quick. Just send it where I am. <laughs> so the white light went past me. And next minute, bits of him went past me, bits of blue. And what I was told, I'd killed one, well, we killed one of the top 14 demons. The, right. the, one of the old ancient demons. <laughs> Put bits of me went by, and that was I should have brought my team in. I didn't expect to because you don't know what you're going to expect when you go through one of them, correct? correct. But uh, and then the same bloke I ended up going down, gave him some healing, and this little like white wiggly worm came out of his head into me. And I was thinking, what was that? A spiritual one, but I saw it, <laughs> so I had to do a cleansing. <laughs> so, Incredible. but but yeah, you don't know. I've, I've been I fought on Orion several times. I've been to the uh, evening centre on a Tuesday and they said, you got five gooey spiders on you. Where have you been? I said, all right. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's so so entertaining what you do. But actually, yeah, I agree with you. You've got to go in to see who it is. You've got to find out because they'll just redo it, won't they? Because they, just... they normally have a, track... they have a tracker on the foot anyway. So you've got to get rid of that tracker and then you've got to go in and see where they are. But... Uh... <laughs> You know, Philip, the beauty of this is um, we, we as, as people who are dedicated to healing, there's no two ways about it. Um, in order to heal one person, what ends up happening is that we heal many from yeah. that type yeah. of infliction. Mm -hmm. And so that is why people taking responsibility of their own healing is so important. And they have a share in the good karma in the dharma of removing this infliction from thousands, countless other people. Mm. It's very important people take responsibility. Uh, and this is one of the things that um, many think that there's going to be a savior that's going to come wash you clean and lift you up. Uh, no, 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 no. That savior is you, mm. my friend. That savior is you. We, we are the prime creators, aren't we? You are the prime creator. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. And it takes action. It takes something. Just do something, for goodness sake. Make the movement, and then the the matrix of reality will respond. The prime mm. creator res will respond. It's so important. Passivity, it results in nothing. Yeah. I, I've got a... You're healing, Sophie. Uh, before you're healing her, I was having enough because I couldn't open her. So I actually partly... I'm a, I actually merged with her which is not ideal. And as I'm merging with her, I came out of her double. She was cloned. <laughs> and it was AI bots there. I ended up, I had to, I had to call my team in because it was just, I, I, I didn't expect when you go merging with a being, you're coming out in another land, that they cloned her from birth. They basically, to take her energy, like a twin. Uh, so you don't know what you're expecting on this journey. It, pretty much, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Um, so I just pretty much use the um, the hermetic laws uh, of making myself larger and smaller, uh, faster and slower. Uh, this seems to be effective, and many beings don't expect this, uh, where we are pure consciousness in these zones that healing is occurring. And so if you come across something that appears technological, uh, you can very much so think of using your fists and crushing it or crushing mm. it in, your, in the palms of your hand or freezing things as if they don't move and you can have a nice little walkabout and see what they're up to, connect to individual beings' conscious consciousness. 
interrogate them and get an honest answer. Also, I found that certain weapons are incredibly useful. This has happened in the past, let's say, two, three years now, where mm, conscious beings uh, join a healer and they take the form of a weapon, a sword uh -huh. or a spear. Um, and this is now going in, in parallel with many legends uh, that very evolved beings had these magical, incredible weapons that amplified their ability. Uh, one of these came to me stuck in a client. <laughs> and massive spear sticking out the lady's solar plexus, and she is a powerful healer in her own right. In fact, she's one of the people that I trust with my own healing. And I said, hey, by the way, there's a massive spear sticking out of your solar plexus. Pulled this thing out and then just forgot what I was doing because this thing was so incredibly beautiful. Solid metal with Celtic patterns swirling around it, moving. And it introduced itself. Um, and I learned its name. Apparently, it appears when it is needed and it never misses. <laughs> so that's good one good of the, weapon. Good weapon. Very, very good weapon. Yeah. And it, apparently I had created it many, many lifetimes ago um, <laughs> in, an as, in an aspect that was from Asgard, uh, dealing with the North European people. I had created this and I got poisoned or something and somebody stole my weapon. So it went all around and came back to me at the end. <laughs> so delightful. That's excellent. I have... Uh... Because I've got the angelic part of me. I've got a, a god sword in my heart chakra, and I've seen it grow out of me hand. And it's like a it's like a lightsaber. It's, that's all I can think. I think the Star Wars is a lot of real. It's it's the Orion Wars, isn't it? And uh, it it. I remember once I used it on uh, an archon. It shape shifted into the god of the war. See, mm -hmm. uh, what's what? Yeah, and I I knew by the energy of foot. Now you're not. <laughs> decide to go for it <laughs> but uh these beings they shapeshift into all sorts of wonderful angels and whatever and it's just right. the energy the energy you've got to know yeah correct yeah correct. you don't get fooled you gotta yeah. you gotta sniff them out <laughs> you gotta have a nose nose for it i remember once negotiating with a guardian dragon who was overpowering and it, on a live event and it went for me and it scratched me mm. and then went off and i'd I actually photographed the scratches and there was three little light marks. The next day, they were deep as ever. It was five of them in two lots. <laughs> and I actually date stamped it the next day. So, why, why Why? the aggression? Why did the dragon think uh, that you were... I was telling him to let the being uh, live as a being. It's not your oh. job to actually... He didn't like being told. Oh. <laughs> He had a like an ego part. Uh, well, well, you've got to be careful in astro and stuff like that. When you, you, the brain creates the memory, and you get the injury. I've I've killed a multi-dimensional demon, and I've had two sprained ankles. I woke up to two sprained ankles, and my yeah. kids were saying, "He only went to bed." Yes, <laughs> they, have, they have no idea you've been on a on an adventure. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is absolutely. a very interesting world and a very interesting time we are living in. And mm. I'm so grateful uh, that this realm of spirit is revealed to, to me. I wouldn't have mm. it any other way. No, I, I really wouldn't, wouldn't um, change this for uh, being the richest person on earth. Mm. Uh, because that is mundane. How much mm. money do you really need compared to the excitement of traveling through the <laughs> cosmos? Mm. Uh, you can't buy that with money. Mm. That's I agree. Yeah, the experience is it's like a TV, isn't it? It's like an adventure, a film, uh, but it's you're part of it, and it's it's all real. Uh, yes, 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 yeah, yes. Absolutely. I, I, as a child, I used to get attacked with demons for about five mm -hmm. years, and I, I ended up putting an alarm in the back of my head. So when I was asleep, it used to go off if there was a being in, in the vicinity. And in the end, I used to kill him. And I've only been told uh, about five years ago by the angels that 
they weren't real. We, they were sending them to train me up to see if I had fear. And I got no fear. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I was a child. I said, yeah, but you needed to be taught. We needed to see if you could do the job. And you could. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah, special forces training. <laughs> no. There's no, there's no uh, soft and easy way to do this. No, uh, definitely It has not. to be tough. Um, so um, we're coming up to the top of the hour. I would yeah. love to make this a routine thing. Sounds uh, good. Yeah, I'd love it. Chatting about these adventures, hopefully, in what we what we share, uh, people will be able to pick up useful stuff and I, benefit from it. Uh, I, what one thing you've taught me? I, I'm I'm I've got a protector dragon. And I've got the emerald dragons here because they've only just come in the last few years. When you do dragon's breath, and all oh. you do, this is how I do it now. I channel into the dragons, and the breath is dragon's breath, Great. and it's amazing power. And that, I, I, and that's you gave me the inkling to do that. Yeah, it is so an that was honor. good. And, and and maybe we support each other continually. Yeah, you know, I one I, I, I once did a, an event with dragons, and I ended up doing a crack in my living room and a uh, dragon energy came out and I'd only just wallpapered it. But I'll take you, I'll show you the photograph of that. So oh, that's amazing. dragons that are very powerful. Dragons are powerful. Yeah. And we've got all sorts of these, these guys. They're the archetypical reptilian form of life. When they're less evolved, we've got things like the Draco. Then we've got those that take the evolved form, but they're still in anger or sadness or madness. Like the one that scratched you. And then we've got the really evolved ones that are the, the closest beings to the source of all things. And they are beautiful as allies and teachers. So the dragon's yeah. breath. And yeah, in the, fact, the, the dragons were the first beings, the first big beings. I've been, I've shown it. Been showing it. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, the, the dragon Reiki, which now I use in the healing, it's basically drawing from the energy of the void, uh, oh, which right. as Far as I know, is free from corruption. Um, even primordial light is corrupted. It seems that where free will exists, there's always a possibility of choosing wrong. Like, mm. the, like the story of the fallen angels, born in grace and given great favor through acts of degeneration, they lose rank, but not their power. Mm. So, yes, oh man, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> My, my aspect was on the bad side of the fallen angel, but he changed sides at the end when the fight was going on. <laughs> so I knew my soul nearly bit was really bad. <laughs> so. you're, you're, you're special, special agent, yeah. uh, undercover agent. Uh, I like your style, man. Well, they, they were going to kill, they, they were going to kill Enya. Is it Enya? And I had affection for her and I actually changed sides. I, my aspect was supposed to be second to lose to the top. Yeah. And he, he actually was part of the reason they, they, they threw him out. <laughs> but I, I remember working with him on Mars, terraforming Mars, and the wings of this other angel was the one that got all the water. As she flapped, all the water came out. And she soaked me in uh, this other angel. I remember that. That's like it was yesterday. Isn't it amazing, that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's amazing. But yeah, Absolutely. thank you. It's been a really it's, privilege. Man, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a really enjoyable. I'm feeling enhanced and full of joy. Mm. And uh, it seems the cold is gone, so I wouldn't be needing my uh, <laughs> super schnazzy cup soups. I, and, I, uh, I was asked by someone in South America, their mum in South England is on end of life support system. Mm -hmm. Can you give her a blessing? He phoned me back half an hour. He says, I don't know what you, you've done because the machine broke. If she woke out of the coma and she doesn't need the medicine she was on. Oh. <laughs> and bless her. Yeah, no. uh, Next, a free lease, on, uh, a new lease on life. Yeah, and exactly. So maybe she use it wisely and serve mm. the highest good of all and ascend and grow. Mm. Exactly. I, I know we've met before quite a few times. Oh, I know. Yeah, I, I man, cool. Like... How, how many of us are there? Uh, <laughs> Not many. Level? I mean, come on. How many people see a dark portal and go head first? Uh, that's kind of a unique thing. Yeah. You've got to be a certain type of crazy or a certain type of confident to say, mm. ooh, portal, and jump in. Not foot first, head first. Mm. So, 
yes, 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 I, I take this as a very positive sign that big things and beautiful things are coming within our current incarnation. Yeah. So by the time these these vessels expire and do their job, I think we would have left our mark in the most positive way. And this is true for many of the people who are going to be listening to this, uh, that this is an amazing time to be living. We've got the chance to undo and erase historical mistakes and prevent them from happening again and change the trajectory of what happens to the human race. Mm. And so may we be victorious. Exactly. That's why we're here. <laughs> yeah. okay so um um i'm i'm free the same kind of time of the week if you want to do it a little later it's still good i mean we both live in the united kingdom so there isn't the crazy time difference yeah. uh, i i most certainly enjoy uh your company and your wise counsel uh, let's do this more frequently mm. Well, I, I I've took tips off you, so it's great, and I'd probably get more. I, I like I thing. like your your art chakra is a green emerald, and it grows. I love that. That is so. That's unique. It's unique. Yeah. So there's lots there's lots more information, and if if we can wake one person, we we lift the Earth's energy. Just one person. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And and also, if you would be so kind, uh, please um, add the uh, revocation uh, for uh, the um, Reiki symbols, because uh, I know so many people are out there, and they are there's a genuine concern, and that mm. is toxin, that is that is poison. Uh, when the certainty goes out of a practice, the effectiveness goes down. Mm. Uh, did we, you listen? Did you listen to that frequency weapon? That's a, that's eighty comments I think on that, and there was the best was a farm who had demons for ten years, and he said he just saw them lift and go. <laughs> yeah. That's that's um, it's one of your unique gifts, uh, mm. using sound in that way, and mm. it's it's advanced. That's what we used to do centuries yeah. ago. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put this on my YouTube, and I'll I'll put links to your YouTube, I suppose. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, I, I think you're great. You've done well. Thanks for doing Sophie as well. It's an this honor. It's an yeah. absolute honor, and I'm at your service, my my dear and esteemed friend. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so have a great evening. Take care of yourself. To be and continued. You. All the best to you. Take care. Bye then. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Good evening. Bye.